I'm going to show you how to make a bamboo um, Native American flute. So uh, this is a piece of bamboo. You've got this little section here so it has an airtight chamber at that end. This end is opened up. I've just taken it off uh, the piece there. Um, yeah, so what you want to have is this little space here. You can have that as long as you want. It doesn't really matter. What we're going to do is we're going to make an air chamber or, or air channel that comes up from that across and into this second channel. Um, now what we're going to do is first we're going to flatten that off. Okay, so that's the first thing. So we have this nice flat section here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the, um, the burning tool. We're going to punch a hole through this side and punch a hole through the other and then we're going to make that channel. So here, this is really important to make this channel um, with this hole right here. We're going to bring that out a little bit. It's one of the most delicate parts of this. Then we go in at an angle. Now this little channel here should maybe be half a millimeter wide and it just goes straight down. Okay. Next we'll get our files out. Okay. Files, what we're going to do, try to get in there and make a nice Slant. You can actually start to hear the sound it's going to be able to make. Now come over here, we clean this other hole up too. This is where the air is going to come out of. So what we want is air to come up through this hole, across this channel, and then fuel or funnel straight into the actual flute chamber. Now to do that we need to have something flat that's going to go and block off all of this other area and just open up right there. So it's going to make it quite small, and we're going to use another piece of bamboo to do that.
So all this is a flat piece of wood. You can make it um, elaborate. You can make it as simple as this. And all we're going to do is lash that down over there. So hopefully it'll sound now. You can use anything to lash these on. So basically you just want to hold that top piece seal it off. I'm using artificial sinew. Let's take this and then wrap it on nice and tight. And then we will tie this off. Like I should have cut more cord. Okay. So any knot that's going to hold, I'm just going to do a quick square knot. Okay. So you can always adjust this. So put it in there. Let's see it again. So I just added um, a lot more artificial sinew just to hold that down better because I was losing um, air containment so it was making it a bit more raspy than what I wanted. Now all I gotta do is make the holes. Now, go up probably about two, maybe three finger widths. That'll be your bottom hole. So just give that a mark. Okay, now from then on, it's going to be a finger space. And we're going to do six holes. And so there are six holes and um, we'll start drilling. Just gotta be careful when drilling. Okay, so we drill the holes. See how she sounds. Hmm. A little bit off, and how you can work on that is you just simply um, 
grill around on the holes to make them a little bit bigger um, as you as you need to. Again, the dangers here are that you'll take off more than you need. Um, I've done that multiple times and ruined quite a few. Um, so, yes, have fun.